Alright, so this video is going to be, you know, it's going to be titled Sneaky Europeans, I guess. I don't, you know, I don't know what spirit these people have on them, and it makes you understand why people call them devils, which means deceiver, you know. But, man, it's just like, come on, man. I don't know what's in your brain and your thought process, you know. I think it's, it's just in their DNA, and I'm not gonna say all, because we we have wicked people as well, so-called blacks, right? But I think it's just embedded in their DNA, and I don't want to say it like that, but you know, let's just speak, be, you know, be factual. Out of all of the nations, or i.e., so-called races on the planet, these have been, the, you know, no matter where these people go. I mean, facts don't deal with emotions. Facts never agree with emotions, right? But no matter where these people go on the planet, it's it's it's, it's chaos, destruction, poisoning, and, and and every nation that they encounter, you know, they have to fix or 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 you know, you know, it's it's just funny. The the people who come out of the caves or the the Russian Georgia Caucasus Mountains, and, and just the, all of a sudden they got to fix everything and fix everybody, and we have to fix nature. And when, when when they're the ones that tear everything down in the first place, you know, you, you poison water, and then you want to sell us clean water after you poison it. You poison the air. I said, boy, they charge for oxygen if they could, and that's probably what's next. They probably gonna poison the air next and sell us. You, bottled oxygen in a gas station or something, you know. I, I, this type of people we dealing with, man. I'm in the Matrix. I, I, I feel like I'm in a movie right now. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's just getting more and more ridiculous, you know. But let me get to the point of this video, you know, I'm rambling. But, you know, I've been at this job for like a month now. It's, it's been pretty much stress-free about 70% of the time, you know, you know, I can, I can come do my thing and go, you know, but man, the only people that's been messing with me is, I call them sneaky Europeans. What spirit is that? You know what I mean? Here they are trying to get free labor again, free work, you know, and, and so, so, you know, I got these new drivers, you know, these drivers, they pretty much know I'm new, I guess, and they've been doing little sneaky stuff like, oh, yeah, you're supposed to take that, and you're supposed to take this, and I come to find out, they've been having me take the stuff they, that they're supposed to take, so I'm taking two other drivers' loads on my truck, so I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing my load and taking partial loads from two other guys, you know, I'm like, ain't this about a, mm. so I get a little hot about that, you know let that roll off the shoulder, right? I'm like, all right, I'll get to my last stop today. Here goes another one. <laughs> so, the whole time I've been working here, right, I get, you know, it's just one of these post offices I go to and I pick up at, you know. I ask them where the restroom is at. You know, sneaky Europeans. You know, the guy tells me, uh, yeah, it's right there. You just go right there through the door to the left and blah, 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 right? Okay, cool. So every time I go to the stop, if I have to use the restroom, that's the restroom I go to, right? Another sneaky European moment. So now, unbeknownst to me, this guy's been having me go to the woman's restroom because there's no labels, there's no his and her sign on the door at all or nothing, nothing like that. You know, so he's been having me go to the woman's restroom all this time, right? And this is what I mean, what spirit is that? Why would you point me to the woman's bathroom knowing I don't, I'm thinking it's the only bathroom in the facility. I'm thinking it's a unisex type deal, you know. So that's that's the first question. I'm thinking to myself, like, why the hell would he have me go to the woman's bathroom knowing it's the woman's bathroom? So, you know, I guess there were two complaints with me coming out the last couple of days, I guess, or something. Sneaky Europeans. Instead of somebody tapping me on the shoulder like, hey, you know that's the... You know, they go behind my back and they run to some, I guess she's the boss boss, I guess, or something, right? You know, she comes up to me and she says, um, yeah, I was supposed to tell you, I've been getting complaints for a while. She says, a while, right? Now, let, let, now, now think about this. If, if Why is it I'm just now finding out if this has been an issue for you all for a while? You see what I mean? 
sneaky Europeans. Why, why do you, what, what spirit is that? It's the bathroom. Just say, hey, 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 the one he pointed you to was the wrong one. For one, I don't get why the guy sent me to that one, knowing it's another one that's supposed to be for the men. Oh, but when I get to the end of this story, boy, I got them good. So, I say, oh, really? You know, I tell the lady, I say, you know, there was a guy here in the morning when I come. You know, he told me that's the, bath that's the bathroom to go to. She said, oh, he told you that one? No, that's the women's. You're supposed to go to this one over back th in the back. That's the men's back there. Yeah, I had, I've been getting complaints, and I just kept forgetting it. I haven't been able to catch you, you know, to let you know, and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> really, you know. So, uh, another lady comes over. She was like, yeah, it's been pretty funny, but yeah, we've been watching... I guess a couple of the ladies been seeing you come out of there. They've made this bathroom thing a thing. Now, for one, if there's no women in the bathroom at the time that I'm going, and if I'm not imposed, I can see if I uh, mistakenly walked in on somebody or something like that. But I'm thinking, you know, I'm looking at this like, so this whole thing behind my back has been an issue for them. They've turned the flame up on it a little bit, you know. And, and now I got, now I got, Two people talking to me about a bathroom, right? You know, but you know, Europeans, you know, ever since the Romans, the Greeks, and blah, 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 you know, they've always loved this homosexual lifestyle. Don't be offensive. You know, yes, we have some homosexuals in our group too, but you guys are pretty much known for this. You know, facts don't agree with emotions, you know. So, you know, you guys, you know, you used to do things like rub yourself with olive oil and scrape each other's back and, and, and rub each other down and, you know, the whole nine, you know, Valentine's Day, you're having bloody, sexual, weird, you know, this is you guys' lifestyle, you know, so, you know, so, you know what I did? I hit them with, you know, I, I acted like I, I was so much of an American to them today. I said, you know what? You know, I played it off like a joke to him, but at the same time, it was a jab. It was a nice, good jab that it, I left him dumbfounded. I said, you know what? Do you know what? You know what happened with the bathroom thing? He said, yeah. I said, you know what? I felt like a woman that day, and I decided to go little woman's, I guess. So I said, um, you know, I guess that, those were the days I felt like a woman, and I and because I felt like a woman, I was a man, and I was a woman trapped in a man's body. I uh, decided to use the women's bathroom. So if I ever make that mistake again, just know that must have been one of the days that I felt like a woman in a man's body. <laughs> the look on their face. Mm. Mm. Hey, I, I, I just sat there. I was like, got him. <laughs> got him good.